German-born Professor Harold Haas has patented an illuminating answer to the problem of congested bandwidth. My big idea is to turn light bulbs into broadband communication devices. You've heard of Wi-Fi. Here in this Edinburgh laboratory, the future is Li-Fi. The demand for wireless connectivity is increasing tremendously. So we've just taken the view of moving from the radio spectrum into the visible light spectrum, which is 10,000 times larger than the radio frequency spectrum. We are not running in competition to Wi-Fi. We still need Wi-Fi. What I'm saying is use the existing lighting infrastructure, cooperating and collaborating with the radio frequency domain. And that's why I don't see that this is a in, in confrontation to the current comps industry. An LED is not just a light source, it's a sophisticated electronic device. Crucially, it can be made to oscillate at phenomenal speeds millions of times per second. We can't see it, but it's this capability which allows it to transmit data. Take the, the light bulb and we have a binary stream of bits sort of, that represent an image, for example. When there is a one, we turn on the light bulb, and when there is a zero, we turn it off. And a receiver on the other end would recognize these changes of intensity and would then decode that binary stream as back as a, in an image. Deep in the dungeons of Edinburgh Castle, without even a cell signal, you put Li-Fi to the test by trying to send a large video file. So what we have here is a little server here in that cabinet that streams high-definition video to that LED lamp, which is an ordinary LED light bulb you can buy off the shelf. What we have here is a little hole, and here's a receiver. The receiver picks up the signals that come from that light. Let me just interrupt that light beam, so block the receiver, and then the, the, the video and the sound would stop if I would release it again. Uh, it starts? It starts again. The light carries the video, so I can touch the video now. I, I have the video in my hands, if you want. And uh, now the video is back on the, on the screen. If I come back in 10 years, where will this technology have gone? Imagine where you have light sources in shopping windows, traffic lights, street lights, in airplanes, in trains, at home, underwater. Everywhere where you have lights, you have a means of communicating. A prototype light bulb is only about six months away, and if it's anything like Wi-Fi, Li-Fi could turn out to be a very lucrative part of our smarter future.